Bill Maher. Uh, personally, I used, I did enjoy watching his show real time. For the most part, I've agreed with his political views, um, but he really stepped in it this past week. And the worst part is he doesn't care. He's not going to bother himself with the people he offends by this really stupid things he says, writes, I guess. But um, yeah, he, he had a blog post for his website. And this, to me, this post really was what he thought, but it was also like horribly just clickbait. But... Stan Lee passed, obviously did a whole episode about it, everybody knows about this, but he decided to, in a very condescending way, mock people that read comic books, saying that these people didn't grow up, and because, and this is what the funnest connection of this, because we live in a society where adults read comic books, that's how we got our president, Donald Trump, as if that's even a reasonable connection. I think this guy is so obsessed at everything and everybody that he has to just make silly, silly claims and go after people for no reason. Why Why go after comic book fans? Why, of all times, why do you wait until Stan Lee dies to try and make yourself socially relevant again? I think you're jealous because Stan Lee was such an icon and a titan of the industry that you're in, you couldn't help but take a pot shot at a dead guy. If you want to mock Stan Lee while he's alive, go for it. Do that. That's fine. But days after the dude dies and you mock people being sad that somebody that's affected their lives, you want to mock them for it? Oh, I'm sorry, because he wrote books that had pictures in them. Because, yeah, Watchmen, The Dark Knight Returns, those book, those aren't legitimate pieces of art. That's moronic. Dark Knight's DC. That's not my point, Ashley. I'm the wa- my point, it's always Watchmen. My point is that comic books are art. You can't read those and not tell me there is artistic integrity. And could there's so many underlying themes in those stories. And a guy like San Lee created a different world and created an ability for a lot of people who got bullied and picked on, gave them an escape, made them okay. I know it's hard to believe that your show, your political show on HBO can't do that for people, Bill. I'm sorry that it doesn't do that. But to just treat, this is the problem. This is why, you know what? You're the Trump because you, you are on the left and you are, you're the, the, uh, the people, you know, you can make fun of it, but you are the whole elite. You live in California. You're so cool because you smoke pot, man. You don't get it. So you immediately mock it. So people reading comic books aren't the reason that we got a president like we have. It's because you're a jackass and you continue to think I'm better than everyone. And you think, oh, well, because I'm an atheist and people believe in God, I'm smarter than them. Oh, because I don't want to have kids, I'm better than them. I've watched your show. You know, if you died tomorrow, I doubt anybody would give a shit, Bill. I doubt it. Because rather than doing what Stan Lee did, which was include people, and talk about how we're all important. This is a guy who was writing comic books, who was writing those books with pictures, wrote a whole essay in the 60s about social injustice and about racism and how that's unimportant and we got to come together and treat people. But no, no, you're going to make a whole documentary about how you're stupid because you believe in a god. So yeah, keep writing your blog posts and get clickbait articles up there and, and attack people because you don't understand them. Because you know what's funny? This is a bit of a stretch, but you know when you mock someone because they like something or believe in something that you don't? Kind of sounds like you're a bigot, Bill. So yeah, I just needed to rail there and have a little bit of a rant. Like I said, to pad the run time. You can follow us on Twitter, at Loud Opinionated. You can like us on Facebook, Loud and Opinionated. See, the Twitter, you don't have the and because it's just too long. Uh, like I said at the beginning of the show, if you want to write an article and tell me, hey, you're wrong on your take on Bill Maher, but guess what? Not a lot of people are. You can uh, send that to be loud at loudandopinionated.com. You can also write about whatever the hell you want. Even if you think, uh, you know, if you're against comic books, we'll see how that goes. You can write that. I'm not in the position to silence you. And you can get this show, as I mentioned, Spotify, iTunes, pretty much anywhere you get podcasts, you can get them. And we will have a show up for you on Friday, Black Friday. So when you are crazy enough to um, buy items for your family, don't go out 
during Black Friday. That's just going to end badly for you. But if you do, you can listen to this show because we will have another episode up on Friday. And uh, maybe I won't be as ranty. You know what? I bet Bill Maher is a clapper at movie theaters. No, he can't be because he likes classy pictures. He doesn't like superhero movies. Ah, The worst part is I liked his show. Then he went too far. You don't go after Stan Lee. Thanks so much for listening. Uh, Have a great day, and I will see you on Friday. I guess I won't see you. You'll hear me on Friday.